I love taking notes and trying different apps and different note taking apps. As you guys probably know, I have Notion as my main like project management system. I use Obsidian for personal journaling. And recently I found Scrintle. Scrintle is an app that works kind of like a sticky note system with different boards. It reminds me a little bit of kind of what Trello used to be like, but this has more of a whiteboard feel and has a little bit more flexibility in the structure of things. It's basically a place where you can give the creativity the structure that it deserves without being limited by um, different UI features. So basically this is a great application for students, freelancers, just anyone who wants to connect ideas like you do in Obsidian or Notion, but have a little bit more flexibility with how your cards are displayed. Scrintnell reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking if I wanted to do a paid video with them and I immediately said yes. I had already been checking Scrintnell out for a couple of client projects and I was eager to jump in and have a real excuse to use it and learn it. So while this is a sponsored video, all opinions are my own and I'm actually going to share a few things that I don't love about the platform but I hope that they improve as time goes on. So. Let's jump straight into the basics. There is very little learning curve with this application, which is one of the reasons that I love it. It's really nice for someone who maybe is just getting started with PKM, or if you are a student, it's really easy to just jump in and start taking notes. So everything is card-based. As you can see here, we have our left side panel that has the desk view. I love this view and I'll explain more about that in a moment. We have the card view, boards, tags, tasks, and web links on the side. And then we have starred boards as well as some recent notes. And you can load in more of those as needed. You can also hide this entire side view, which just gives you a really clean look at your board. And then on the left side panel, we also have links and backlinks as well as information and all kinds of other stuff available um, from the main menu here basically. So we're gonna start with this really clean view of my desk board to give you an idea of what the structure looks like. Everything works as a card. So you can right click and create cards here. You can click on the little plus icon here or you can use the keyboard shortcut C to add a new card. When you type in the title and click enter, it will open the card up, which opens up into a markdown format um, text area where you can basically add a ton of different options. So if you use the backslash command, you can insert other cards, boards, links, or create new ones of those from this shortcut. You can add headings, bulleted list, ordered list, tasks, quotes, dividers, and even add media in here like YouTube videos, Twitter posts, etc. You can also tag in the current time and date so that you can quickly um, keep track of when you were taking notes. I find this really helpful for meeting notes um, and it's really fast to enter as you can see. Like I said, everything is marked down format, making it really easy to type and add new lists. And one of my favorite methods here that I've been using lately is to create task lists in here. This is great for just grocery items, to-dos, or planning larger projects. So for example, if I type in write a blog post and I open up my sidebar here, under tasks I'll see this card right here with my task on it. And this is a great way to see all of your tasks all together. You can also include completed cards if you've already finished projects. You can search by tags, user, and date as well, which is all a really helpful method for a simple task management system within Scrittinal. So I'm gonna go back to my desk view and you can see I have a few things on here. I have some meeting notes that are no longer relevant. I don't really need to see this, but I don't want to delete this card. I'm going to remove this from my desk and basically archive this card. And what that will do is move the card to just live in this big list here. I can see the same meeting note card. And if for some reason I accidentally archived it and I want it back, all I have to do is type in the search. And you can see I recently opened this card, so it's right up top. I can also see which cards are currently on my desk item. But all I have to do is make sure this is the right card here. Click and drag it. And that will go back onto my desk. 
This is also really handy because this works really well for cards that already have connections. So for example, I have my March content planner right here. I'm going to remove this from my desk. And now when I search for it, if I wanna add it back onto here, it will show me those connections once again. So you'll be able to see how all of your cards are connected together visually, but they will still stay connected even if you archive certain cards or if they live on different boards. So I'm gonna open up this March content to show you an example here. You can see that I have other cards linked directly to my March content. So if I click on it, it will open up all of these different cards and I can have them all open so I can multitask or plan things together as needed. You can obviously exit these out and you can also click on the map view, which will show you exactly where that card is. So if you're trying to find it, especially if you get more complex, larger boards, that's a really helpful note to find exactly which card you are trying to reference. If I scroll down on the card data itself, I can see where this card currently lives and see everything that it's linking to. Alternatively, if I click on quarter planning, for example, this will show me the backlink. So this is March content is linking to this card rather than this card linking to March content. You can also link it back. So if I click on any one of these dots down here, I can link it back to March content. And now we have a two way arrow and you can see I have a link and a backlink from both of these, which makes it really easy to be able to match content up, create flow charts that just look really nice and help you start to kind of connect all of these ideas together. Boards are the second way that you can organize your content. So we have the card, which is the content piece itself, and then we have the boards. So my desk is a default board, and I think of this as kind of like an inbox. So let's say for example, I want to have a board where I create or plan all of my content together. I can create a new board, and let's open this up and rename it. We're going to call it content planner. And then I want to move my March content onto here. And then let's say I also want to add in all of the content that I already have linked. And there we go. Now we have all of the content from my desk view on its own board where it can live and continue to grow. So for my desk view now, you can see that I have my board that's showing all of this content is linked to it. I can highlight a big section at once and click remove from desk, essentially archiving. Now my content planner board can live here if it wants to, um, and I can easily access it by double clicking, or I can just star it, have it be in the starred section, or I can just remove it from my desk entirely and just search for it when I want to. On the boards themselves, there's a few different ways that you can style the boards just to make it easy to find things and make it really aesthetic visually. So there's a couple of different options. First off, we can toggle the card layout types. So right now you can see the title with a little preview of what's in the notes. We can toggle different layouts so that it's the title only or a smaller title if you have a lot of notes and you want to keep it really concise. I prefer this view just because I like being able to see a little preview of what's in my notes. You can also create columns. Basically, this is a way to organize your notes into different categories. So for example, we could call this videos and add another column called blog posts. And then I can click and drag these different notes into my columns. Like I said, all of these connections still exist, so it's still really easy to find your links and backlinks within the notes themselves, even without that visual connection. So if you don't like the arrow flowchart kind of feel, using columns is a really great option. This starts to feel a little bit more like Trello um, with the Kanban kind of style. You can also add text. So you can add headers. For example, we could just call this March through December. And then we can duplicate this entire section here and use it as a template to start planning next year's content. Duplicating is really handy and I found myself using that a lot, especially when it comes to creating things like routines or different workflows. There's also a different kind of card in here called the daily card. So essentially what this is, is a card that is tagged with today's date 
and then you can type in your journal entry or whatever you want to do. This could be things like a task list and you can use tags, which will create new tags if you don't already have one or it can help you search for them. Now all of these daily notes can easily be found in the card section and then by searching for the date, or like I said, you can use those different tags to find specific items. So our journal tag, for example, will pull up this one card. And now we can see that card quickly on the sideline here. There is a few things that I've noticed in Scrutinal that I don't love in terms of function. If I want to create a checklist of items and I don't want them to show up in the task view, there's no way to do that. So I either need to commit to using the task view or not use it at all. Um, you can filter, like I said, by tasks, but I wish that there was an option for creating the content where it is maybe a task list and then an actual checklist. And the checklist maybe doesn't show up in tasks themselves. Um, that's a small thing, I know, but I use checklists a lot and I don't necessarily want to see them all in my huge task item list. Now, of course, the other option is just to filter out tasks um, that I don't want to see, but it is an extra step that I would love to just have built into the system itself. In addition to that, I do wish that there was an option for some simple tables in the notes. I find myself doing a lot of like calculations or just building out like small tables with some columns for data. And I would love to see like a column option within the notes itself, not just on the boards. It would just help add a little bit more structure to my notes um, and be able to, you know, kind of see some of that in the note structure itself. In addition to that, I would love to see a toggle item. A lot of times I'll have a big paragraph of information and I would love to be able to toggle it closed or open so that I don't have to necessarily see all of the info directly in there, but be able to just see the headings and then open each section. Scrutinal is a new company, so I know that they're working on a ton of new features all the time. And while their main focus is to keep things simple, I think there's definitely a few functionality type things that they could improve on. I do love getting in on a new note app or a new app in general because you can see their growth, um, especially from the get-go. I have seen so many new functions in here just since I started playing with it. For example, now you can click and drag boards right onto your desktop. You didn't used to be able to do that. So they are definitely adding functionality all the time. And I do really appreciate that about this company. Obviously there's a ton of other functionality that I have not even shown you guys yet. And I really encourage you to get in here and play around with it. Um, it really is a very cool app and something that I think could be really valuable for a lot of different use cases. While I love my other note taking and project management tools, I really appreciate Scrutinal's simplicity. It's really easy to come in here, jot down an idea and come back to it later when it's appropriate. I don't have to worry about sorting and organizing because I can always connect ideas as I go. If I have a blog post I really liked, I can just save it in here and then reference it when it's time to talk about that topic. I can use my tags or my boards to sort it out and the search function is really fantastic. So it's really easy to find those connections in here and build up as I work through a new idea, project or content. There is a promo code down in the description box that is only valid for the next month, but you can get 10% off your subscription. So if you are watching this pretty recently, definitely check that out. They don't offer very many codes or anything like that. So it is worth taking advantage of. And of course, as always, let me know if you have any questions.